Department of Energy studies indicate compressed air leaks are 25 to 30 percent for most facilities. I'm Ed, and we will share with you some operating tips and ideas to minimize these leaks while cutting your electric power bill. Compressed air is a very useful but expensive utility. Based on Department of Energy studies, 45 to 60 percent of the compressed air is used for production and the balance are losses, with leaks being a major opportunity to save on operating costs. Also, if your current system is having a hard time meeting demand, you might be able to avoid the expense of adding more compressor capacity. Knowing how much compressed air you are losing will help you develop an effective plan to track the losses and reduce leaks. An old method was to shut down all equipment and then do a 15 to 20 minute test using your air receiver pressure drop to calculate the loss based on the air receiver volume. The test works well, but is cumbersome and does not provide tracking losses. Technology using thermal mass flow meters has provided a low cost, easy to install, compressed air flow meter to measure losses in your system. Installation is really simple. A direct reading LED display provides the airflow data and many options exist on how to recover the data for your use. Consult our website for more information on sizes, options, and prices. With low cost and simple installation, CDI compressed air flow meters can be used to measure total air flows or flows to branches of your system as well as specific equipment. With data logging capabilities, you can monitor compressed air use on a 24-7 basis to help you better manage operating costs. Our experience from compressed air audits indicate air drain traps and piping leaks tend to be the first place to look. We found very few air drain traps to be operating properly. Consider using a zero loss air drain trap such as Drainall. For piping leaps, ultrasonic detectors are useful, as well as a simple soap water test on suspect connections. All forms of hoses and connections are also a major loss of compressed air. We've got over 30 years of experience in ways to help reduce compressed air losses. If we can be of help or you have questions, contact us for more information. Thanks for looking at our video.